Hey, what is up ladies and gentlemen, I'm Sonic the Hedgehog here, and I'm Mario here, and I'm back for some more of the Maxi Toys videos. Or don't you mean we are back from the Maxi Toys? Oops, sorry. And anyways, um, welcome back to my last play of My Little Pony Harmony Quest for the IRS slash Android. So, last time we fully completely completely done with the stained glass window pieces, and as you can see, Everything else is truly fully completed by the forms of this particular throne room. Well, for that matter, anyway, the stained glass window display. And we managed to collect and obtain uh, ten, 10 stained glass window pieces, which is quite a lot. And today for this episode, folks, is going to be the finale of this game's Let's Play to able to actually get the rest of the remaining pieces of the Elements of Harmony pieces. So, we'll start things off in the forms of Ponyville for the final time, but in forms of uh, obtaining the final half of the Honesty Stone. In this case, the Elements of Honesty. Um, or Honesty, um, stuff. Sorry for a little bit of a pronunciation error, but even then, uh, that's as far as I can go. Alright, so naturally, we now have the ability to be able to carry six ponies all in one run this time around, though, and as a result, that we need to actually catch up to the changeling before we actually come across into these boss fights. So... Yes, because there's going to be boss fights, as I've already mentioned this earlier ago. But even then, though, let's just go ahead and just keep on tracking down for the changeling before we reach to the very end. So, but that wasn't until for later. But for now, let's go ahead and just, um, you know, hypnotize um, that little white cat there. I guess assuming that white cat over there is actually heavily borrowed from, um, there's an episode from, um, season 2, which I believe is actually episode 16. Well, you know the segment where Daring Do, which is very much like a, um, a pony version of Indiana Jones, which if you ever heard of that, um, name before, uh, that's actually where, um, they influenced around for the forms of how the fact that the White Cats usually exist in episode 16 in season 2. I believe it's actually called Read It and, uh, Weep It. Or in this case, just, you know, I can't remember why, what I can describe about this episode though, because we haven't got to that episode in Season 2, because we haven't watched Season 2 for quite some time at this point. Y'all know that. Because at this point though, that um, Season 8 is getting pretty close to releasing it, especially next month. But even then though, that's as far as we can actually discuss upon. And speaking of such though, the fact that there's going to be quite a few things we have to talk about for this point. Um, not only do we get ourselves some more information about the, um, the new trailer of the forms of not only for Japan, but also English as well, by the forms of Nintendo Labo for the Nintendo Switch, to showcase off the new information on that stuff. And, uh, well, I wasn't really too fond about it, to be honest, because it's more accurately just showcase off how this thing actually works, very much like how it's first announced. But that's all there is to say, so... And, um, also not to mention that, um, you know this game called, um, the Spyro HD, um, HD Trilogy for the PlayStation 4? Um, that's been confirmed at least as far as producing it, or in this case, developing that particular collection. But even then, though, we don't know exactly when it's gonna release, but I do notice it might be released at some point this year. Because, um, you know, Spyro the Dragon is now going to be 20 years old this year. Which can be the same applies in back in two years ago, in 2016, we got ourselves a 20th anniversary of, um, Crash Bandicoot. And even then, I was really excited for Crash, in, uh, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy for the PlayStation 4. I've heard there's gonna be some rumors to actually make the Nintendo Switch version or something like that. Maybe it all depends, though, of the rumors, though. But even then, speaking of rumors, um... Since today was actually for himself the 15th of February, so you know what that means, tomorrow is going to be our 7th year anniversary of our YouTube channel celebration. And also not to mention that, um, well, that's, what I, that's all we can say about this point. So, um, speaking of Nintendo stuff, um, sadly though, Nintendo Direct is nowhere, to, is nowhere to be seen for today, which, again, that's because of how the fact that sometimes rumors could be either real or sometimes it might be fake. Even then, though, it's kind of luck-based for me. So anyways, we're actually going pretty close to a change the link, and as soon as you think this is over, we got ourselves the first boss fight. Which, by the looks of it, though, we have ourselves a diamond dog. Which, by the looks of it, though, is pretty pathetically easy. All you have to do is basically just use Applejack to toss the apples right onto this little plank, and then if you break that plank down, he falls over, and you obtain the final half of the, um, element of honesty stone, or a gem even. 
And that's pretty much does it for Ponyville. So now we have to go those in a particular order. So next up we're going to be hitting to is Cloudsdale for the final time. But in forms of obtaining the final half of the un element of loyalty. So, and then as far as this, at this point in time, that um, hopefully we can get those um, gems just in time. But even then, that's all we can time. That's all we can come across into. So um, yeah, unfortunately, you know, there's still no lack of um, Luigi's Bloom World's release date just yet. E it, not to mention though, Sonic, that how the fact that we've already mentioned about this during yesterday. That we also have no sign of um, new customers, uh, customizable menu, but in forms of the snapshot mode. Like you know, I really do love how the fact that it get, it, it retains the um, the imagery of how the fact that you can actually take a snapshot in your coin-shaped formation, which I thought was really really cool. Which that was usually kind of like a almost exactly almost feels very similar to the gold Mario, but that's just how it is for me. So anyway, though. Um, yeah, I was really excited to actually see if how the fact that um, Spyro of the Dragon HD Trilogy Collection will be about to be happening this year. But I'm guessing it might actually go ahead and just announce it and during the likes of E3 2018 and Sony press conference at this point. But we'll know who knows, maybe we'll actually run into it at some point. Yeah, exponentially too. So anyway, speaking of such though, it's the fact that I've heard that um, Mega Man X uh, uh, collection were about to be on its way, and it's usually got classification thanks to um, I can assume it's based off from Australian uh, class classification, because all it says here is it's basically we actually got ourselves not only one but two uh, split up games between the Mega Man X collection, which are known as uh, Mega Man X Legacy Collection, very much like how it does it in Mega Man Legacy Collection One and Two. But this time around, there's the forms of Mega Man X Legacy Collection 1 and 2. I'm kind of guessing it might actually contain the first half of the Mega Man X series, and the other uh, collection, which is Legacy Collection 2, contains an other half, which basically is more accurately. Uh, the first collection will contain Mega Man X 1, 2, 3, and 4, and Mega Man uh, X Legacy Collection 2 will, will contain. You know, Mega Man um, Legacy, uh, no, Mega Man X uh, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Yeah, I've heard that uh, Mega Man X 7 is easily one of the weakest Mega Man X games because it just makes the entire game completely ruined due to how shifting to 3D to 2D perspectives, which even then, no, I've heard there are some quite um, reviews out there that seem to actually have this sort of tradition at some point. I still have no idea why these um, pony fuel based trees are still up in Cloudsdale. But again, that's usually a kid's game logic, but even then, no, that's as far as we can go. And, to be honest, I don't think there's any much else to say about this at this point, because you know that uh, those uh, couple of HD collections will be on its way this year, so um, I don't know when the, um, uh, what you would call it, Mega Man X Legacy Collections 1 and 2 are about to be released at some point. But we'll definitely find things out during that time period. And speaking of us though, we actually got past with the key section like a little bit more faster at this point. But anyways, I believe we got ourselves our liver to pull down. Which can be either access to either Rainbow Dash or Twilight Sparkle. Rain uh, Twilight Sparkle should be the quickest because she can just use her magic to pull that liver down. Or in this case a switch down I should say. So um, and I believe we got ourselves our next boss coming up. So even then... We'll present to you the Cerberus, the three-headed dog. That's how it should have done for the likes of how the fact that compared to the ones in Sonic 06 or Sonic the Hedgehog 2006, all it gets is just basically just one-headed dog, which makes no sense. So anyways, Cerberus is actually very easy if you know what you're doing, because basically all you have to do is just guide Rainbow Dash all the way to the, uh, to the top of these little pillars until you obtain the rocks, and then afterwards then just hit these, uh, three-headed dogs, or in this case Cerberus, about, like, you got to hit those three heads until you're able to defeat him or knock him out. And that way, we got ourselves the final half of the Loyalty Gem. And that's pretty much does it for the Cloudsdale. So now we're going to be moving on into, uh, let's go to Manhattan next, and then afterwards, then we can pretty much move on to Everfree Forest, and then afterwards, then we can hit into, uh, the Crystal Palace, and finally, we get into the Cantalot for last. Now, you're probably thinking that where is Twilight Sparkle's elements of uh, magic of any sort? 
Well, that wasn't until you, if you eventually finish up with these other levels first. Because even then though, as we expected, that Twilight Sparkle is easily the main protagonist of the actual show. In this case, the main character of it. Well, besides some, you know, Rainbow Dash, Applejack, Rarity, Pinkie Pie, Flourishai, you name it. So, now, as far as I've noticed something, Mario, originally that Princess Celestia might be actually in the game, but it turns out it's actually a cameo appearance in this body forms of, what if you're trying to boot up the game, body forms of the load times and stuff, that I think that's the only time you see Princess Celestia, and then as for everything else, um, I don't think there's anything else to be signed around here, uh, I don't really don't think. So yes, we're gonna be traveling back to Manhattan for a final time, until we get ourselves, um, the final half of the Generosity Stone, so, or in this case, the Generosity Gem, which, again, do apologize for the misleading translation between these, um, speaking and all that stuff, but still, you can't deny it, like, you can't really deny it through everything here. Oh, speaking of so so that recently I've watched, um, yesterday, thanks to the, um, the Python 2018 Winter Olympic Games that actually sponsored for the forms of the new trailer, or in this case a sneak peek trailer, but the forms of The Incredibles 2. Which, I have to say though, I was really excited for this film actually, because this is the reason why that we've got the first film on DVD, by the fact that it's almost about, well, I would say 14 years since the first film came out in 2004. Jesus Christ. I know, Mario, because compared to how he does it in the forms of back in Dream of the Likes of 2000s, that we're expecting to actually wait for car- no, not car- um, something. Uh, Toy Story 3, expecting to be released in 2009, but then, um, somehow, since when, um, when did Toy Story 2 came out, I wonder? I think it only came out in 1999. I could assuming that, Mario. Oh, yeah, that's right. And then, some people have to wait until, not until when it gets to 11 years since um, Toy Story 3 has been finally announced, and then all of a sudden it's now finally released due to how the fact that um, in 2010's release, and also not to mention they managed to re-release uh, both Toy Story 1 and Toy Story 2 in 3D on the big screen, so that makes it pretty obvious. And same applies to how it does it back in during the likes of um, Oh yeah, tomorrow that um, both Bayonetta 1 and Bayonetta 2 are going to be coming out to the N Nintendo Switch tomorrow. If see, Fernando, expecting you might actually going to be very excited with this point. So, um, oh, looks like we've almost nearly towards to uh, chase up to him. And still we have to deal with this all sorts of keys here, which... I, I, I honestly think that the key section might be the most difficult part about this for me, because I'm always a little bit too hasty at this particular section alone. And then all of a sudden, that you might be thinking that it might be really, really easy at first, but it's just that you need to be really impatient when it comes to able to swiping out these little key parts, which even I know that kind of feels a little bit too tricky at times, but still. And now it's extinguished the fire, so hopefully we'll get everything else checked out for this point right here. So naturally we got there at that one point or another, so yeah, let's go ahead and catch up to that change lane here, and it looks like we got ourselves the next boss, which appears to be, um, uh, yet another member of the Diamond Dogs, because you remember back in the, um, the Ponyville level, for the final time, that we've already come across into one of those, uh, Diamond Dogs, I believe one of them is actually known as, um, Spot, and this one is actually known as, um, uh, Fido, and there's gonna be another one in here, but that'll be for a later time, because in here, all you have to do is just basically can do a, um, construction, um, equipment, and basically we need to build up this cage, and then we can able to trap him up, and we'll be able to get ourselves the final half of Generosity Gem. And that pretty much does it for Manhattan. Every time you finish the world, uh, sometimes you get sorts of fireworks effects, which means is that you're fully completely done with the world. So, yeah, that makes it pretty obvious what this little system goes. So, um, yeah, we're hoping if this sound, or the music rather, doesn't go completely muted with all these little sound effects in mind. But even then now, let's just go ahead and move on to the Everfree Forest for the final time to get ourselves the, um, the, um, the Element of Kindness, um, gem. In this case, the final half of the actual Kindness Gem. Let's go ahead and chase after him. It's pretty obvious at this point, is the fact that we have to do the exact same thing over and over again, but we should not mind too much, but even then, that's as far as we can go for this point.
But again, there's not much else we can actually talk for this point because, you know, that's all we can actually discuss upon how the fact that, well, um, these collections compilation will be on its way during this year, so if you're not expecting this will actually be happening. And we'd like to actually briefly talk about the, um, the Winter Olympic Games exponentially, since ever we actually did talk about this and during the likes of yesterday. And it looks like we actually got ourselves, uh, 20 positions at this point, which even then though, that, um, uh, I'm guessing that judging by the fact that, um, we got ourselves a new leaderboards at the moment, which is usually an updated version of the leaderboards for metal counts for the, um, you know, the Pi John, John, um, the Pi John, uh, 2018 Winter Olympic Games. Again, do apologize for that little name rubbishness. But anyway, though, um, still first place goes to Germany, but consists of 14 medals, which are, they actually got 8 gold, 2 silvers, and 4 bronzes. Uh, Norway now currently in second place, which which by the forms of how the fact that they've got five golds, seven silvers, and four bronzes, and they got 16 medals in total. And I believe Netherlands usually goes down to um, third place, which they've now got five golds, four silvers, and two bronzes, and that leads them up to 11 medals. And USA is down to fourth place at the moment, which they've got. Five uh, golds, one silver, and two um, bronzes, which actually leads them to eight. And fifth place goes to Canada, which they've got currently three golds, uh, four silvers, four bronzes, and at the total amount of medals they've got, they've got about eleven. Which, by the looks of it, though, they got the exact same amount as uh, Netherlands, but um, different position due to how the fact that they've got different amount of medals. So. Switzerland still got 6th place, I think, so naturally they've st they've got about 5 um, medals at this point, like 3 golds and 2 silver. France is now in 7th place by the forms of 3rd um, uh, place, 3 golds and um, 1 silver and 2 bronzes. Actually, uh, before we talk about anything else for this resistance by the forms of how the fact that um, I've heard there are some several accidents in the forms of the Winter Olympic Games so far, but we'll talk more details about that later. But for now, um, Altum, or in this case, uh, if I like to be pronounced for that correctly, um, oh, where is it? Um, oh, I don't know why this loading times doesn't, um, doesn't like me that much for, um, for my phones anyway. Oh, there we go. Um, Ostra, they still managed to got into, um, Again, I do apologize for this little, um, description reading for it. But anyways, though, um, yeah, it turns out that how the fact that, um, yeah, unfortunately, still the Great Britons doesn't do that great so far still. Granted, we actually on, um, I, what day is it today? I forgot. Uh, what day is it today? Uh, day number six, in the forms of, uh, the Winter Olympic Games. So naturally, they still lost by, um, in curling events, but in forms of they actually lost by three points from USA. So, um, yeah, that's all I can make, actually, just uh, expect to see how the matches are up to. And, um, so far, that in during the likes of curling match in the forms of, um, men's round robin session three, on the other hand, is that Great Britain did manage to beat the Japan's team. He forms of um, the round robin session three, which even then, that's actually really impressive to me, though. So I wonder how the fact that how they're getting on with the actual events themselves. We're really hoping if our country will get ourselves a medal eventually, but even then, though, we'll get to that at one point or another. So don't worry. All right, so we're going towards the end now. So I believe we got ourselves a yet another boss coming up, which appears to be the third and final member of the Diamond Dogs, which appears to be Rafa. Which, even then, uh, that's part of the actual um, premise of this. So, we need to use Fluttershy to able to use the Song of the Liberty. And when you've done all three of these sequence, if you think it's actually over... And yeah, he got paranoid due to the fact that he doesn't like obnoxious noise. Which, if you remember watching um, Season 1, Episode 19, called A Dog and Pony Show, which the episode involves around Rarity got kidnapped by the forms of the Diamond Dogs, and that's how the, how the fact that that's why these Diamond Dogs never liked noises, especially with Rarity's uh, whining. So yeah, that's how we can actually describe about these guys. So we can then... Um, the only thing that the Diamond Dogs do enjoy, though, is the gems themselves, which can be the same applies to Spike the Dragon. So, 
Oddly enough though, it's the fact that Spike the Dragon seems to eat those little gems, which even then though, that makes it a little bit strange. But anyway though, that's only because as a kid, um, all the kids shows logic, but anyway, so um... Now we've obtained ourselves the final half of the forms of the elements of laughter, no, elements of kindness, sorry. I was thinking of we're gonna be hitting to right now, but anyway. So naturally we've completely done with, um, well, have a free voice. So now we're moving on into the Crystal Palace for the final time to obtain the final half of the elements of laughter. So you can end up that honor goes to Pinkie Pie, obviously, for the actual factor from this. So at this point that we've pretty much done with the or dealing up with the diamond dogs, so you can end up that we can actually just expect to move on. Alright, so let's go ahead and just do a little bit of a construction going on right here. And uh, everything else for this residable will be fully in check. Well, at least for the most part though, anyway. So yeah, I'm really excited for The Incredibles 2 to be actually be... Well, specifically the USA version on that film, because usually in the USA version of, um, you know, The Incredibles 2, uh, release date is going to be on at some point in June the 15th. Whilst in our country, we have to wait until July the 13th, which even then though, we haven't got long at this point. So yeah, it's almost about like, um, well, I don't know about you, 14 years ever since, you know, the first film came out. So, you know, we get the idea what this little release date as far as past goes. Oh yeah, unfortunately though, it during the likes of the event called the Half Pipe, which is essentially a, um, in the Winter Olympic Games anyway, in 2018. Um, you know this Half Pipe by the forms of the snowboarding event? They have to perform tricks and all that stuff due to the Half Pipe sequences. Um, unfortunately, one of the members, or in this case, one of the competitors from Japan, which I believe this guy was actually known as, uh, Walto, uh, Tsutsuaka, which, again, I do apologize for this little pronunciation very well, do apologize for that point. He was roughly about 16 year old at that one point, and, um, while well, he was anticipation for the forms of the half-pipe sequences and during the likes of, uh, well, just in this year's Winter Olympics, as I mentioned earlier, and what happens is, uh, for, the, for about it though, is the fact that he did end up in an accident, which what happens is, is the fact that he got suffers from, um, I don't know about you, a horrifying crash, which even then though, that attempt to be one of the most despicable crashes I've ever seen in my whole entire life. I think he suffers from a hip injury, which even then though, I was like, oh crap me. Yeah, tell me about it though, Mario, because that's totally a, uh, the worst part about the day. Or in this case, during the like stuff. I think it did happen yesterday, I think, because even then though, that's how it normally happens in during the likes of accidents sometimes. Which, I think last time they did manage to end up in accidents last time, but in forms of, um, two years ago in Rio 2016, they got managed to got a broken leg. In the forms of, um, I believe the event was actually forms of fault in gymnastics, which, um, that's usually how last time that we've actually come across into, um, accidents at one point or another. But anyway, so yeah, um, as, as far as we already mentioned about the fact that, uh, we got ourselves a, um, a Japanese player by the forms of, uh, uh, Yoto, um, again, I do apologize for that last surname was, uh, to Sukowas, um, the most gruesome, um, crash in during the likes of, I think it only happens in, um, half-pipe finals, in the men's, um, finals, um, half-pipe event, so, yeah, I'm feeling creepy, sorry for him, because, um, Let's, let's just hoping if he's alright until the very end, but usually that's the only um, event I will not be able to anticipate for, to be honest. Anyways, we got the next boss fight, we got a Hydra! So many references from Hercules. First off, we've got um, Cerberus, which is a three-headed dog, and now we've got the Hydra, which even then... Speaking of such though, is that the Hydra did manage to get their first appearance in this particular show alone. I think it, I think it was actually in Season 1, Episode 15, which is uh, Feeling Pinky Keen, and um, Cerberus usually makes their first appearance by the forms of Season 2, Episode 20, by the forms of It's About Time. Which is all about time traveling aspect between, um, you know, the present day version of Twilight Sparkle compared to the future version of the Twilight Sparkle. Which, kind of think about it though, the future version of Twilight Sparkle with her eye patched on, it reminds me of something a little bit similar to the Metal Gear Solid for Solid Snake as far as the fandom goes. So, that's pretty interesting. So anyways, enough about this little explanation, so if we, we've now finally got ourselves the elements of laughter completed, 
But we've got one more level left, and it forms of how the fact that we're going to be obtaining the final element of um, harmony, but it forms of the element of magic, but it forms of the final half of the element of magic. So, let's go ahead and just stop the evil chrysalis, and especially with the changeling. And then afterwards, then we're pretty much done with the actual main game itself. So even then, though, that, um, I can't believe how these levels are gonna be super long at this point. Well, not exactly too long for me, though, because they usually roughly took about four minutes and stuff like that. Which, that doesn't feel like a proper manic for me, because even then, though, that this game is way too easy. If you manage to able to go, you know, faster enough in one point, so even then, that's as far as we can go for that one point or another, so... And speaking for that tradition, that's uh, we're going to be visiting the Cantal Lot for the final time before Equestria is saved. Yeah, because that was the main part of the actual world itself, which the forms of takes place in Equestria, so... Anyway, so let's pull down that liver down by um, using Rainbow Dash to navigate for those little, um... You know, thorns and all that stuff to be able to actually just go bypass those gaps in between. But yeah, we get the idea with this little tradition. Oh, we got covered in um, Paris Price. Let's do Pinkie Pie Dance. At this point in time, folks, that um, normally we haven't got that long until um, how the fact that we got ourselves the seventh year anniversary at one point. So even then, though, that. Um, we decided to do it differently, but it forms about the fact that, unlike in last year, we did manage to talk about the history of our YouTube channel, but it forms of the Maxi Toys themselves, but it forms of starting from 2011 to uh, 2017 and present day, or the future. So we figured we could actually do something a little bit more different for this time of through. So even then, that's as far as our planning goes, that's all we can say. So, um, yeah, I was really hoping if uh, how the fact that there weren't any, uh, um, accidents during the later portions of the next Winter Olympic Games, or in this case, in this particular Winter Olympics at the moment. So let's just hoping if they don't get too many crashes at one point. So we'll just have to see if how they're getting on. But even then, a while to wait and see what happens during the future days and onwards. So, alright, it's time to create those little um, gates or this little, um, you know, tunnel or whatever. So anyway, though. Um, yeah, that's all I can really say about this new uh, discussion for this point, ladies and gentlemen, because uh, normally uh, there's not much else to say. So anyway, let's go ahead and just uh, hypnotize the uh, changeling while using Fluttershy's Liberty um, tune. Oh jeez, it's going way fast. But there we go, we got there in the end. So, although, not literally hypnotized though, Mario, he's just literally just sleeping. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> Anyway, though, jeez, this level can go really, really long, though. Especially that uh, we always have to come across into um, so many segments like uh, these key section. We have to match, um, you know, the actual keys themselves based off from, um, you know, the finale of season four. But naturally, as far as we can go. Now, as far as I've heard, though, Mario, yeah, I've heard is that um, during the likes of um, uh, from these rumors, anyway. Of, um, you know the villain from the likes of, um, Season 4 Finale by the forms of t Rag. I've heard that t Rag is gonna be making re himself returning in the forms of the Finale of Season, um, 4. Oh, really? Well, this is hoping if that scene might be easily the most intense, but even then, we'll have to wait and see what happens. Alright, here we go, folks. Here's the final boss in this game by the forms of the Queen Chrysalis. Oh, all we have to do is basically we have to do six multiple tasks. Basically, we need to knock out this little uh, uh, piece of the actual platform of the bridge, and by using Applejack at least. And then next section, we have to basically just draw out the line. Oh, okay. No need for actual coloring line for that little straight line. Okay, we'll take it. And then just deliver that little final piece by the bridge sound parts thanks to that little squirrel, uh, squirrel critter. Which by the looks of it though anyway, is the fact that what that shape represents is actually forms of the language of the animals are speaking. So that's uh, how the fact that, you know, Fluttershy can understand of what they're trying to do. And then after that, Rar Rarity is going to be able to connect the bridge itself so that we can able to actually go across the river. And after that, Rainbow Dash is going to be able to toss out the rocks at the Changeling. If you think it's over, well, we got ourselves and the slavement of the actual um, changeling, and Pinkie Pie can do this job. So that way we can actually just send him go away. 
naturally. No need for violence or anything like that. Speaking of the violence I've seen, I found the fact that I don't think we can actually see this little punching sound effects anymore because we got ourselves to the very end. And the final part, we have to basically just dish out that little vine or the thorn platform and we got ourselves the element of magic final half. And that's pretty much does it for Cantalot, not only Cantalot, but also the actual main game. So after when you beat the main quest, well, we got ourselves our cutie mark map, or the cutie map is fully in fireworks all over the place, and all the main six now sit on their thrones. So, um, and it says now your adventure is over, you want to restart your entire game. You can't do it if you wanted to, but as for us though, we're not gonna do that, because we just want to keep it still fresh as it is, so... There we go, folks, that was it for our Let's Play of the forms of My Little Pony Harmony Quest, and yeah, the changeling tells you to actually go back to the beginning, but... Normally, it's a bit like how it does it from the body forms of, you know these little NES games that always force you to go back to the very beginning of the game? That, um, it kind of reminds me of this particular system. So anyway, um, let's talk about the overall of the actual My Little Pony Harmony Quest for that as far as the application goes. Um, as far as the processing for this Let's Play is concerned, it, it took us a lot of long efforts to be able to actually go through everything as far as editing goes, so... And aside from that though, that's because of how the fact that we're actually going to be keeping our... Well, narration, as far as the voice clips are um, turned off, and especially noticeable with the background music off. But even then though, we decided to be able to go for the most complication that we've ever going to be producing by itself. But even then, as far as memories goes for the actual, um, uh, this Let's Play is concerned, um, it's been pretty good so far. Especially noticeable how the fact that if the one of the Brony member community will go ahead and see and see this Let's Play, and able to actually get their full experience of this particular Let's Play itself. So even then, thankfully though the credit sequence was there, so even then though that uh, we can actually talk about the overall of the game. So, um, yeah, it's a pretty enjoyable game actually, but even then though, sure it's a little bit too easy, and plus the target audience was actually for kids though, obviously. And, um, also for how the fact that I really do enjoy the presentation, it almost feels exactly like how it does in the actual show, but except the fact that, um, well, the only downside that I can think of is the fact that, while the story might be a little bit too much of a difference though anyway, what makes no sense to me though is the forms of how the, um, if you ever watched, um, the Cancel of Wedding, that usually Queen Chrysalis were about to stop their wedding by the forms of, uh, uh Princess Cadence and Shining Armor, who actually decides to go for a marriage though anyway. And especially noticeable with the finale of Season 6, which is forms of trying to conquer everything for the Equestria, without using the elements of Harmony itself. But normally, uh, I believe, uh, Starlight Glimmer, Trixie, and uh, Thorax, and Discord is going to be helping throughout the majority of the journey. But in this particular game, all they do is it's basically trying to steal the elements of Harmony, and also trying to uh, take over for the actual stained glass window pieces, which I know is a little bit more nonsensical between the um, the show itself than the likes of this game, but again, it's just a logic aside from that. So, um, but apart from that though, it's a pretty enjoyable game. I mean, sure it's free at the beginning, but if you, again, if you want to complete the main game, you need to be sure you need to pay your real money until you're able to actually purchase Rarity, Fluttershy, and Rainbow Dash simultaneously, so even then though, if you want to get all three ponies all in one go, good luck with that, because even then though, that you're gonna have to force you to actually pay for real money, but that's just all I was to say. So, um, apart from that, for that point, folks, um, I guess there's not much else to say for this point. So yeah, this is me, Mario, and Sonic the Hedgehog, by the forms of the Maxi Toys. And until then, tune us next time for tomorrow, by the forms of how the fact that we're gonna be celebrating for ourselves, the seventh year anniversary of our YouTube channel, probably something a little bit more secrecy, but we'll definitely find things out eventually. Now, if you're probably thinking of how the fact that uh, what's going to be the next Let's Play as far as we're concerned, um, I don't know actually. Well, I'm still going to be going back into NES Remix at one point, but even then, though, I'm assuming that you might have well gone back into um, Kingdom Hearts Final Mix exponentially eventually. Well, we don't know exactly for sure yet, though, Mario, because there's gonna be still some of these, um, uh, next upcoming Let's Plays and all that stuff. Oh, Amanda was actually voicing the actual game in the English version. But that's normally how the fact that she normally voiced as a narrator, so that's all she, um, actually voiced from, so... 
I know for the fact that this game doesn't have the actual main cast voices though, so that makes it pretty obvious of the logical games aside from that, so... Anyway though, so that's pretty much it to say about uh, My Little Pony Harmony Quest. It's for free at first, but if you want to get yourselves uh, the main adventure end, then be sure to able to actually just to purchase the actual um, the final three ponies. It's entirely up to you, but even then though, if you want to complete the game, you need to go ahead and do a mandatory thing in order to actually just to complete the game. So, um... Yeah, this game was seriously first made in during the likes of 2016, which is about... I'm assuming that in the middle parts when, um... Season 6 will be on its way, it's made with Unity. Okay, that's a little bit odd. But anyway, see you guys next time for tomorrow for our celebration day. So see you guys next time for that. So yeah, take care of yourselves, and have a great day. Thanks for watching.